Hypoglycemia is an acute medical emergency which can occur in patients with both type 1 and type 2 diabetes. It's effectively when their blood sugar goes down too low. Patients come into hospital for all sorts of reasons, but we have an increasing number of people um, in our hospitals with type 1 and type 2 diabetes. And therefore it is really essential that nurses across all fields have a really good understanding how to treat this medical emergency. So virtual reality is um, a computer generated scene, an image. Um, so the nursing student is playing the role of the avatar and the other characters are the nurse in charge and the patient avatar. So they would use a, a Google Cardboard and their own mobile phone. And then through the Google Cardboard, they would look through and they would be in the um, simulated ward environment. So the scenario is, has been developed with a patient, a male patient, who's about 52 years old and he's come into the accident and emergency um, uh, department and he's displaying various different symptoms and they then need to go through a number of steps and do a number of tests to effectively diagnose that he is actually hypoglycemic and then they actually need to then also choose the correct treatments for him. So having spoken to the nursing students, many of them um, have are visual learners and quite a few of them have dyslexia and additional learning needs. So they found using this computer simulation with the diabetic patient much easier to understand than the complicated um, diabetic concepts if they're just listening to a traditional lecture. It's been very positive. The students have listed lots of advantages so they found that it's helped them to visualise the learning so they can link the theory and the practice. Um, and really they felt that it's complementary to their lectures and also their ward experience that this is like a third way of learning and they can learn at home or in the lecture theatre. They said that it's, it's good for them to feel safe that they can't make a mistake with this virtual patient and they can have lots of goes and they get feedback straight away. So that's been really important as well.